Uh, hey there, everybody. Just doing a uh, test with the Ampere Time 100 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate battery to uh, recharge this uh, Delta 2. So, yeah, I mean, basically, I have the uh, Delta 2 discharged all the way to 0%, so it's completely empty. Um, I have the Ampere Time battery fully recharged, and basically, this test is to, is to just see how many times you can recharge the uh, Delta 2 using the Ampere Time battery along with the inverter. However, I did do a few tests, uh, a few uh, test runs with this uh, recharging method, and I, I did run into a few problems well mainly one problem actually uh, and that would be with the wattage input for the delta 2 which is uh, set to 1200 watts uh, by default so what, what would happen is that I would connect the uh, charging cable into the uh, AC input port for the delta 2 and uh, the and the inverter would automatically shut off I thought that was because the the increase of uh, wattage was too steep for the uh, inverter to handle um, so I lowered the uh, wattage input via uh, the EcoFlow app right over here. Uh, and thankfully, you're able to do that with the uh, EcoFlow app. Um, however, that didn't exactly solve the problem. So I had to slowly lower the uh, wattage input for the Delta 2 recharging until I got to 300 watts. Uh, trust me, like I tried every single option below 1200 watts. And what did it was the 300 watt input. So I set it 300 and the Delta 2 was able to uh, recharge without the inverter shutting off because what would happen um, with any with any higher wattage input for the Delta 2 is that the, the ground fault circuit would be interrupted. And you know, I would get that uh, yellow light right over here and you know, the inverter would shut off, the charging would stop and I would, have, I would just have to restart again. You know, I would have to recharge the battery and yeah, it was, it was a pretty big mess for me to figure out. But uh, yeah, I mean, that is, I don't know why that is. I don't know why the inverter isn't able to handle 1200 watts. I was able to power a uh, Flasco heater that I have right down here um, with no problem. And trust me, I did, I did test out this um, heater again, just to make sure that the inverter wasn't having a problem. And, you know, I was able to power this heater right, right over here, um, at 1400 Watts and it was handling it with no problems. It has to do with something with, uh, recharging the Delta two. Unfortunately, it's really unfortunate that I have to recharge it at 300 Watts only. Um, because the, I mean, yeah, the inferior time battery is capable of a 1280 Watts, a continuous output. This, uh, this inverter should definitely be able to handle it because it has a 2000 watt output and uh yeah i mean 1200 watts i mean fortunately that's not going to be the case for recharging this delta 2 and also i just want to mention is that the battery the ampere time battery has a 12 1280 watt hour capacity the delta 2 has a uh, 1000 24 watt hour capacity um so yeah i mean theoretically the ampere time battery should be able to recharge this uh delta 2 at least a single time and uh, we're just going to see what happens and yeah let's just basically get to it um, let me just make sure that i have the recharging for the delta 2 set to yeah it's a zero percent as you can see all right so yeah let me just plug it in right over here yep i have the recharge speed set to 300 watts And yes, thankfully it is continuously working to recharge the Delta II. And the inverter is not automatically shutting off. Okay, and I also have this electricity monitor. Uh, just have it here just in case. I don't know why, but yeah, 300 watt outputting from the inverter. And uh, just measuring the kilowatt hours that we're using. And there we go. I'm just gonna wait until the uh, Delta II is fully recharged and we're gonna come back and see um, how many watt hours was uh, outputted from the uh, Ampere Time battery right, right over there. And if you can actually use this uh, Ampere Time battery as an expandable battery for the Delta II, because the uh, expandable battery directly from uh, EcoFlow uh, is pretty expensive. I think it's like 700 or $800 that you can uh, input into this uh, port right over here for the expandable battery. But yeah, it's pretty expensive. I think it would be a pretty cheaper option going with a uh, deep cycle battery like that Ampere Time one. Uh, getting an inverter, of course you wouldn't get a uh, 2000 watt inverter in this case, you would go for a much lower wattage inverter, that's a pure sine wave. And um, and if this test proves anything, yeah, going with a 2000 watt inverter um, would be a waste of money because in this case we're only we're only able to recharge this Delta 2 at 300 watts. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back once the uh, Delta 2 is fully recharged. Alrighty guys, so just back with the Delta 2 uh, fully recharged back to 100%. And so yeah, I mean everything ran smoothly, you know, I was able to recharge the Delta 2 at 300 watts. 
Um, I guess that's unfortunate because we weren't able to recharge it at a faster uh, wattage input because of that uh, inverter problem that I was having. But uh, yeah, I mean, as you can see, it's back to 100%. And um, looking at this electricity monitor, we were able to pull 1,050 watt hours of the 1,280 watt hours from the ampere time battery. And that's gonna be 82% that we've already used from the um, ampere time battery to the Delta II. And uh, so what I'm, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drain the um, capacity again for the Delta II uh, down to 0%. And uh, we're going to go back to recharging the uh, EcoFlow Delta II just to see how much more capacity we can pull from that ampere time battery. Um, so, I mean, I mean, the good news is that we were able to recharge the Delta II a single time. So, you know, that's giving you a full 100% um, power uh, back to this power station. Um, so, yeah, so, yeah, I mean, it would be it would actually be a good idea to use the uh, ampere time battery or any deep cycle battery as the expandable battery <coughs> for a power station. But I just want to see how much more we're able to squeeze out. And uh, yeah, with that said, let me just uh, drain the uh, capacity from the Delta II and um, we'll continue on with another test. But uh, I think the other test will be really short-lived because I'm pretty sure the uh, ampere time battery is almost depleted of all its capacity. So yeah, I'll be right back. Uh, all right, you guys, so just back with the uh, Delta II, fully uh, discharged again, so it's at 0%. I, I discharge it using a heater. But uh, anyways, let me just go ahead and turn it back on just to show you guys. Yeah, so we're at zero percent. We're just gonna um, see how how much further we can take the ampere time battery. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to turn on the inverter real quick. Yep, all powered. And so yeah, the Delta II is going to be recharging at 300 watts. Yep, 300 watts right there. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna see how far I can take the battery um, because I think eventually when the uh, ampere time battery is fully depleted of its uh, capacity the uh, inverter will start will start beeping you know basically indicating that it's not um, able to uh, you know receive enough power to output and uh, yeah with that said um, I'll be right back and also I'm gonna keep an eye on that um what's it called I'm gonna keep an eye on that uh, oh good lord what is my cat doing okay anyways um, I'm gonna keep an eye on this uh, kil kilowatt hour meter as well and uh, yeah, we'll be right back. All right, you guys, so um, back with the second test. And so we finished off this uh, second test with the Delta II at 23%, which is uh, really, really good in my opinion. Um, and overall, we were able to pull out 1,120 watt hours from the ampere time battery right over there. Um, and that gave us a 88% uh, efficiency rating or an 87% efficiency rating, depending on if you want to round up or not. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we, we were able to get a, a single full recharge back to the Delta II in 23% um, extra capacity. And yeah, there we go. You know, you can use a deep cycle battery as an expandable battery if you want to. You know, it's, it's especially going to be a lot less expensive than using the dedicated expandable battery from uh, EcoFlow, um, which is going to be $700, $800. You don't have to go with a 2000 watt inverter like I used here. You know, I just wanted to make sure that I was using as much power as I could. And unfortunately, we we did run into a problem with recharging the Delta II um, because we were only able to input 300 watts of uh, input power to the power station for some reason. I don't know why, because this uh, inverter has no problems running a 1400 watt heater and yet it had trouble inputting 1200 watts into the power station. But uh, yeah, that's what happened. I mean, just something to watch out for, I suppose. But uh, you know, if you have a Bluetti EV3A that has an incredibly low capacity and a high output, using a um, deep cycle battery like this Ampere Time one or any other one is would be a good idea to use as an expansion battery. Um, and uh, yeah, there we go. And I will see you all on the next video. Goodbye.